Uh, Yamanto Station with Superintendent Mark Kelly and obviously De Detective Inspector Lou Strofeld. And as a government and as a community, I'm here to congratulate the great work that the police and the Ipswich community are doing in reducing crime. We've obviously uh, reinforced the front line with more police officers and more equipment and more technology, but it gets down to the old adage of basically ensuring that the community and police work together. And as a government, we're going to ensure that we maintain and make Queensland and Brisbane and Ipswich and all the other suburbs in between a safer community. And I'd just like to congratulate uh, this particular operation that has been running since November last year. Over 500 offenders arrested on over 1,500 charges that affected mums and dads and business owners right across the Ipswich area. It's been a remarkable result. Obviously, uh, reducing tens of thousands of dollars of property damage, uh, ensuring that uh, these offenders are brought before our judicial process and uh, making sure that Ipswich and the wider community is kept safe. We have seen some remarkable results uh, since the inception of this particular team, as well as uh, the increase of our uh, operations in relation to criminal motorcycle gangs legislation across the state. Here in Ipswich, we've seen a reduction of robberies by 33%, by unlawful entries by 20%. And that is, that is only by the hard work of local police on the ground, on the beat, like never be before, working in with their local communities. So, uh, Inspector, if I'd like to get you to make some comments, I'll just move in in the middle. Thank you very much, Minister. Uh, the Ipswich uh, District Property Team, as the Minister said, commenced in uh, November last year. Um, we've had significant uh, success in relation to that. That's totally due not just to the operational uh, the operation being run by our officers, but also to the Ipswich community and the assistance that they've provided us um, throughout uh, our operational uh, duties. Uh, on Tuesday and Wednesday, we closed our latest operation with the property team, Operation uh, Mike Snowshoe, which um, resulted in nine offenders being charged with almost 70 offences. These offences uh, relate to um, uh, mainly relate to premises, um, coffee shops, foil drive, accessories, businesses and, uh, in Ipswich, North Brisbane and in South Brisbane. Um, the operation was conducted uh, in conjunction with the property teams from both of those police districts and it's a, it's a really good example of the uh, borderless policing uh, which is going on uh, within the South East corner of Queensland. Yep. in their 30s, most of them. What do you think of the behaviour of these adults? Well, it is atrocious. They're targeting businesses um, uh, predominantly, doing uh, significant amounts of damage and stealing large amounts of property and cash. We at this time haven't recovered a lot of the property at this point, um, but um, it is good that we have been able to apprehend these. And two of the offend uh, alleged offenders were remanded in custody yesterday in the Ipswich Magistrates Court. Yeah, just, just one thing there is, is particularly I'd like to congratulate the community here in Ipswich and around Brisbane. There's been an increase of over 300% of uh, reports to Crime Stoppers. Uh, we've seen uh, our Neighbourhood Watch and our My Police blogs grow right across the whole of the state. My Police blogs with over 20 million hits and particularly here in, com in the uh, Ipswich community where people have said enough is enough and they are working in because at the end of the day police are as only as good as the information they receive and whilst we've got police on the beat like never before getting remarkable as results they can only be achieved by the partnership with the community, particularly here in Ipswich and around Brisbane. Would you be able to describe Sorry. some Sorry. of the offences that they committed? Were they particularly targeting fast food stores, that sort of thing? Uh, there are a number of offences on uh, subway fast food outlets, coffee shops, and um, they were targeting uh, four-wheel drive accessories. Uh, and as you can imagine, those the, the uh, items stolen were very expensive. They were after the top end uh, items that they could dispose of easily. Um, and as I said, we haven't recovered a lot of that property. We have some of it at this point, but we're attempting to recover more actually as we speak. What kinds of items? Oh, uh, expensive winches and four wheel drive accessories. Some of these things uh, cost thousands of dollars per item, and they're readily um, disposable items. How are they breaking into these places? 
They're smashing their way in. You know, usually, uh, we're alleging that they're using uh, implements such as sledgehammers and axes to, to get into the, bu the buildings and causing lots of damage, significant damage. So did you say nine offenders? So were... nine, nine offenders for just under 70 charges so far, and that's uh, that was, was finalised yesterday. And they're all working as a gang? They're working as together. They're all known to each other. Um, I suppose they're a loose association in that uh, we allege that different different uh, people within these this group worked with different people at different times. They're all known to each other and run in the same circle. Two separate, yeah. yeah. So there's, sorry, Luke. He's, so there's the overall operation commenced from the Ipswich District property team in November last year, and a culmination of that and the success of that, we've seen the recent operation, uh, which has commenced, uh, which is uh, obviously uh, targeting uh, uh, and these hard hit areas because, as we have now, as the the inspector alluded to, we no longer have these small operational police units working independence. We have a borderless policing approach towards uh, uh, our police response. So we're able to cu accumulate large groups of police, gather, give them the, uh, the, the infrastructure and the technology now to be, a be able to target certain individuals. But one thing important, uh, and I do implore the community, you will not leave $1,000 on the bench or you will not leave $10,000 or $20,000 sitting on your kitchen bench. So please take the opportunity to put your items away so then that these particular offenders do not have the, uh, the opportunity of committing these offences. So, so the subway robberies and all that, was yep. that going back until November or is that just in April? The offenses. investigation in relation to these current offences commenced in April, but some of the offences were committed before uh, it, it, from the beginning of the year. Mm -hmm. So our property team, which was put together, uh, which is 22 uh, full-time officers in there, commenced in November. And Mike Snowshoe is just one operation that they have conducted during that time, it, and it started in April. So we've got CCTV of, I think, subway robberies and Zarafa coffee robberies last year, I think it was like mid last year, not related to this? Not at this point, no. They'd be part of the other 500 offenders yeah. arrested on over 1,500 charges. So they were targeted under the November starting operation? The, the some, some of them were, but the ones you're talking about were uh, to do with the previous operation, which was run as an interested district operation. Okay. And any homes targeted? No, there's no, no homes in this one. It's all um, commercial premises. So they are for cash, cash tins, um, a number of safes, uh, tills, but with the four-wheel drive accessory stores, it was the high-end, expensive equipment like winches and recovery gear uh, and things like that, which are easily disposed of. Did you put a dollar figure on perhaps the stolen goods? No, we haven't been able to tally it. But is it damage worth $45,000? $45,000 to $50,000 easily in damage to um, the premises that they were in. Uh, property team's continuing, it won't be stopping. Uh, we're not going to let up on, on this. Um, whilst we've identified these persons and they're before the courts, there's others out there, there's still crime being committed and the property team is there to attack the property crime that's being committed within the district. They uh, work in conjunction with the property teams in the North Brisbane District, South Brisbane District and also um, the, uh, the uh, CIB and uh, other detectives in but, uh, to Were they sort of breaking in at a certain time at night or anything like that? Was the MO the same the whole way through? That's how this operation started when it was identified that there were similarities in a number of these offences, which included times, the, the, the means in which the, the uh, breaks were being committed and the like. Uh, and that's when the operation was put together to identify offenders. Well, we allege we have identified those offenders and we're going to put those before the court. How are they arrested? The main offenders have been caught? We believe so, yes. In this yes, we did have a uh, good, good uh, response from the public. Um, Crime Stoppers, as, as the Minister has alluded to, is uh, a magnificent tool for the police. It's something that we couldn't do without and uh, we'll promote it at every chance we get because it is it's what we have to have. We cannot solve crime without the community helping.